Hey, it's Rob and welcome to Axel's Garage. It's another rant. It's another customer service call. This time we are getting rid of Optimum again. I've probably gotten rid of Optimum, I'm going to say six to eight times over the course of my adult life. You know, living on my own in my own place. Um, but we had, we've had Optimum for about, and just internet, not TV. We've had Optimum online internet or cable vision, um, what else do they call themselves, or Ortiz, um, which I don't see on the website anymore. I know when I got it, Ortiz was like the big name, but whatever it is, Optimum, Ortiz, cable vision. Uh, we've had them about three years now. The internet, they told me when I re-signed up with them that there was no more glitches with the modem where you have to unplug it and we call it do the plugs the kids know go right, run downstairs and do the plugs we well, got to unplug the router and the modem and let it reset and then plug it wait, wait like 30 seconds and plug it back in to get your internet service back we've had to do that um probably two to three times a week for the last three years on a good week maybe just once but usually it's at least twice and on a bad week three times sometimes even more than that uh, on occasion but i would say the average was twice a week um and then we've had to deal with either it being slow, sometimes it was fast, sometimes it was slow. Um, just just a, a lot of unreliability and the prices. You know what happens with Optimum, I mean even most of them, but Optimum in particular, the price climbs, right? You get that, that cheater rate and the cheater rate they told you was a few dollars more than what they told you it would be to begin with. And then it slowly creeps up and creeps up and creeps up and all of a sudden it's it's a ridiculous amount of money and you get a flyer in the mail from Verizon saying they got something where they can uh, they can give you something better and that's what we did. We went back to Verizon and now we're getting rid of Optimum. How hard is it to get rid of it? Uh, I don't know. It seems like every time we get rid of it, it's a little tougher and tougher and tougher. So we're going to do the customer service Welcome game. Welcome to Optimum. This call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Yes, it's being recorded. English, press one. Para continuar en press español. one in English. We see that the telephone number you're calling from is not six. If this is the correct number associated with your account, press one to enter a different. I guess it is. I don't even know anymore. You can say things like technical support, billing, mobile devices and applications, add new service, home security. Or make a payment. So how can I help you? Disconnect my service. You're calling about a disconnect, is that right? Yes. Okay. Are you moving and looking to reconnect your service at your new address? Please no. say yes or no. No. Are you calling for your home or business? Please say home or business. Home. Okay. Got it. Please hold. If you are moving and not transferring your services at this time, please press 1. If you are disconnecting for any other reason, please continue to hold. You gotta be careful. I'm talking and the thing is picking up what I'm saying. They're please always, hold. See? For your account security, always please listening. enter the four digit access code associated with your account, followed by the pound sign. If you do not know your four digit access code, Press the star key now. I don't Please have an hold. access code. They're, they're always listening. Good morning. This is Sonia in the retention department. Can I have your phone number or account number, please? Uh, my phone number is... Oh, okay, one moment, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. I'm trying to find my account number online. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I got it. Always listening. If you need the account number, I found it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, do you have that? Yep, it's four. Okay, give me one moment. Okay, just allow me one moment. I do apologize. I'm having a little bit of a, uh, trying to access your account. Looks like we're having a little bit of an issue with the system. What is, uh, what is exactly that, uh, what you're looking for? To disconnect the service. Because the same technical difficulties you're having with your system, I'm having with my system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just waiting on the system to open your account. 
right now. So, um, what exactly issue were you having with your internet service? That's your the only. That's the only service I have, and it stinks. Okay, I do apologize. Uh, if you're having any type of service issue, remember we could send a technician out. Have you had a technician out to check the services? I had a technician out it's about. Charge. Yeah, I know four or five times when I first got it, and it hasn't gotten much better. Was that quite some time ago, or was that recently? Uh, quite some time ago, and we just put up with it like we put up with it for the last couple of years, like I've done dozens of times over the years. I've had Optimum on and off for the better part of the last 30 years. Have you ever um, upgraded your services or enhanced your internet here with Optimum? I I would like it, to, if it worked, I would look into doing that. It doesn't work. You know, you have to, um, yeah, you, I mean, well, you have to okay, unplug yeah. the modem and the router, you know, two or three times a week because your internet goes down. And when I signed up two and a half, three years ago, they told me that wasn't a problem anymore and you didn't have to do that anymore. And that's what the salesman told me when he came actually to my house and sold me this. He said, you don't have to do that anymore. We have better equipment. And then when the installer came and I told the installer, that's what the salesman told me, the installer laughed and said, yeah, you're going to be, you're going to be rebooting this modem all the time, just like always with Optimum. No, you definitely don't have to do that. Rebooting your modem is if you're having an issue, then you reset your modem. But it's not something that you would have to do every day or every few days. Okay, yeah, yeah. You, if you, you're having an issue like that, then we need to send a technician out because uh, then there's something else more than just resetting your modem. Right. And, so do, and, and we can replace the wiring, we yeah. can enhance your internet, we can work out the best package rate for you and give you the best price for the services. We okay. have new package offers that are available. Right. Well, do you I, know what type of speed you're getting now? I, w I would just like to disconnect my service. I mean, even with more enhanced internet, you wouldn't want to try that out? Uh, no. See how it works with the more enhanced? It's free of charge to do that. I mean, uh, we would just enhance your internet and reduce your calls for you. I, I un understood. And it's real nice that you guys want to do all this for me now. But when I've called customer service in the past to get it fixed, nobody wanted to help do anything. So let's just go ahead and disconnect the service. Okay. Well, we just remember, I mean, if you're having any type of issue, we can definitely assist you. Yes, I, I, I understand. Ma'am, I, I understand what you're saying, but you only offer to be so nice and to enhance my internet and all that other stuff when I say disconnect. I shouldn't have to threaten disconnect to get appropriate customer service. Yeah, you don't have to disconnect the service even if you're calling us to enhance your service, if you're contacting us here in the retention department to work out a better promotion. I mean, I definitely don't want you to feel that you would have to disconnect in order to get help. The retention department, we work with existing customers that have active accounts. We process orders for changes, we upgrade services, we apply promotional offers, and we work we work with customers that want to stop the services. So we basically can handle everything in this department. That's why I said if, if, even if you contacted us to go over a new package offer or to increase your internet speed or to enhance your service, we can assist you. I, I understand that, but I, I, only, the only I only get to the retention department when I say I want to disconnect. Otherwise, I'm with regular customer service. Unless I threaten to disconnect, I don't wind up talking to you. They don't send me to the retention we have, department. Um, yeah, we so, have a direct number. So I, I understand that, but I shouldn't have to call customer retention to, to get quality customer service. I should be able to call the regular customer service number. You, 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 yeah, well, do you understand the direction I'm going with this here? Yeah, what I was saying to you is that the customer service, they help you with billing. If you have a billing question, if you need technical assistance, you're going to have to contact the technical department, so they would have to transfer you there. So customer service, they don't handle everything. In this department, we handle everything. We can set up TC appointments, which is technical appointments if you need it. We can change your package offer if you needed that. So basically, it's a one, it's, you can speak with us, and we can help you directly as opposed to customer service transferring you to a different department for help. That's what I'm stating. So it's not that this is, this is customer service, but we work with existing customers. We just make it a lot easier where you're not being, you know, speaking with several different departments. You speak with us and we're able to help you with everything. We can set up TC appointments. We can set up, uh, you know, we can do that at no cost and we can work out the best package offers and best promotional offers. So it's just to, to help you from having to go 
to different departments. If you're looking for a promotion offer or a package offer, you can contact us here directly and we'll be able to assist you. But um, how much, uh, if you don't mind verifying, how, how much was the most recent amount paid on your account? How much did you pay? I think I was a month behind. I think I paid like two, two something. Just recently, I think it was last week. Okay, or if you have the last four of the socials, fine. It's just to verify the account. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, so we're looking at the gig, which is the 1,000 Mbps, is the best internet service that we offer. You don't have auto pay and paperless billing, but if you enrolled in auto pay, then we can give you that additional $5 discount. The price is $49.99, and that's with the one gig. Mm -hmm. The one gig uh, internet we're currently offering now with HBO Max included. So if you, you take advantage of the gig offer, it's a one year offer at $49.99 with auto pay. If you didn't do the auto pay, then it'll be $54.99, but that's the uh, best enhanced internet service that we offer, and we can set it up with HBO Max included. So if you wanted to try out the gig, we can set it up for you for free oh. because you already have an active account. You know, that, that that's great that, that you're gonna, it's half the price of what I'm paying, less than half the price of what I'm paying now. It's fifty four ninety nine. If you did auto pay, it'd be forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's le less than half of what I'm paying right now. Exactly. Oh. So we can work that out for you. Yeah, that's a, a shame you didn't offer that to me when I didn't threaten to disconnect. Because I'd like no, to disconnect. But, well, this is a package offer that is available to you. I mean, I definitely don't want you to feel that you have to disconnect the service. If you did want to try it out, remember your bill cycles on the seventh of every month. So if you want to try it out for the next few days to see the difference, we can set it up for you for free. If you want to try it out so you can see the difference in the speed of what you're getting now, I see that you're at 300. It's triple the speed of what you're getting now. It's well, it, first. Uh, it's, tri it's not triple the speed of what I'm getting now. It will be 10 times the speed of what I'm getting now because the only time that I can get a 300 speed is if I'm standing next to the modem and the router with a cell phone. Um, I don't know about you, but... Do you but, have the Wi-Fi extenders? Do uh, you have Wi-Fi extenders at the current time? Yeah, I have Wi-Fi extenders all over the place, and the, still the only time I could even remotely get... And I don't even get 300 speed. I think I get about about 100 and change next to the modem. And it's been like that since the day it was installed. Three or four technicians have been out here, and it's always been like that. And they say they only guarantee speed standing right next to the modem. And I don't know about you, but I don't have my modem in my no, kitchen where my laptop that. is. That's not, that, that's not, we don't guarantee speed standing right next to the modem. I mean, if you have the 300 meg internet and you're not getting that, then we need we need to uh, send a supervisor tech out. You actually had a technician out back in 2019. So it has been like two years since you've had a technician out. Well, that's when I got it installed. That's when I got it installed yeah, and, 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 and there, was, there was several technicians yeah, out. Like, there were actually several technicians out. One of them couldn't even find the feed to my house. Yeah, it looks like it was back in August of 2019. That, so maybe that, that was just a... That's possible. It's when I first had it installed again. So, so yeah, now we're at the point where... So we're at the point today where I'd like to disconnect my service. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, if you want to try it out, we can always extend out two months for free. Did you want to try it out for two months at no cost? Um, okay. I'll give you a hundred dollar credit, which is two months at no cost. If you did the auto pay, you still wouldn't have to pay for the two months. So if you don't want to do the auto pay, then you don't have to. But I can give you two months for free. Try it out for free for two months. You'll see the difference. And anytime you need anything, I can give you our direct number. Just contact us here in the retention department. Okay. We'll be able to help you. Now let me have your. Let's start with your name. My name is Sonia. Sonia. Yes. And okay. the number here is eight six six. Uh huh. Two zero zero. Okay. Now today is the first of November first. That's correct. Okay. Now, do I owe any money? Because I know I paid what was due last week. Um, the balance right now on your account. Let me just double check. Looks like it was a a twenty dollar balance. A twenty dollar balance. Yeah, that's all you owe on the account. So if you did want to try it out for two months, you uh, wouldn't have to make another payment until the month of January. So, but so I mean, if you if you if you wanted the two months for free, you wouldn't have to, like I said, till January twenty second. So, so if you if, you, if I want to try it for two months, this is what I'm getting at. It's November first right now. I owe twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I wanted to try it 
for two months for free, which I'm willing to do, but I want to know when I would have to call you back before I get billed anything else over that $20. Uh, but, well, basically, it's going to cover you up until you Okay, so if I call you on January 6th. Yeah, that's fine. You I let us know if you want to keep it or not. Okay, yeah. and if I don't want to keep it on January 6th, I don't owe anything? That's correct. Okay, so prior to January, I'm going I'm to just put in my notes here. Um, call prior to January 6th. Yeah, the number I gave you is the number to contact. Okay. Okay, so and if that's the case, if that's the case, I owe nothing. Correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to try it for two months, and this is going to be the one gigabyte service? Yeah, it's the one gig. It comes with HBO Max also. It's the one gig service, and I can set it up, uh, like I said, free of charge. Did you want to do the auto pay for the forty nine ninety nine rate? Uh, yeah, that's fine, yes. Okay, and do you have a card already on file? Yes, I do. Okay, so let me just uh, set that up for you. And I'll let you know. Any day, is any day good to set up the gig service for you? Um, it, how, how, do we, how do we do that? Well, basically, I just have to send a technician out to do that, which I'll, I'll let you know what date becomes available. Okay. So this way, um, you can let me know if that day is good for you. Um, better in the afternoons <clears throat> or in the early mornings. Okay, no problem. Yeah, because we normally have like a two to five or five to eight. I'll double check to see if five, the five, five, five to eight is better. Yeah, I'll double check to see if the five to eight is available for you. And then uh, once we put this on for you, then you'll get the HBO Max automatically included, okay? And, and what is that, a login or something? Is that a streaming yeah, service? Um, yeah, you can stream it. Uh, no additional cost. So okay. you get the HBO Max with this promotional discount. You'll get that included automatically. So you'll be able to take advantage of that. Let me just uh, put that in here also. See, right now... See, right now I just switched my internet over to, to Optimum on my laptop. And I could give you a sample of what kind of speed I'm getting. All right, what days do you have this uh, install available? Yeah, I'm double checking it now. Okay. Um, we have, well, we don't have the 5 to 8, but we have 8 to 11 every day starting as of Thursday. 8 to 11? Should we have Thursday, 8 to 11, the 4th? That's fine. And if they, if somebody needs to reach you, they can reach you at uh, the number here is not. That's correct. And you say that you already have, uh, I see a Visa card here on file. That's what you want to use for the auto pay? Yes. Okay, so we're going to enroll you in auto pay and paperless billing. You're going to receive an email notifi notification 10 to 15 days before, okay? All right, and that's, so uh, I, I wouldn't get any, I'm not going to get any bill until January 7th. No, because we're going to give you the credit. Words that will already be on. I still have to read you the terms because I'm removing you, but we're not going to, you're not going to get any bills after that. Okay. Okay. Just, just so to let you know, know, just to let you know, I, I don't know uh, how this one gigabyte speed is going to work, but um, my speed test right now with, uh, with, uh, what is that, Ukala or however they say it, you familiar with that? Yeah, you know, 1.76 MBS. Okay, yeah, so we definitely need to send a technician out to uh, fix that for you, okay? Yeah. So every, every, your issue will be resolved. We're going to uh, set this up for you on Thursday. You're going to have the 49.99 rate. This is going to be with the gigs. So it's the best internet service available. I did also make a note for to, uh, to send a lead technician out to do that for you, okay? Right. Okay. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not too confident. Yeah, if you can't tell, because <laughs> we've been down this road yeah. before several times. Yeah, and I do apologize. We'll fix this for you. 
Um, you have our direct number, so going forward, you know who to contact. Just contact us here at the Retention Disconnect Department. Um, and right now, your balance is twenty dollars. Did you want me to take a payment for the twenty dollars? Uh, yeah, you can pay. You can pay that twenty dollars. With the card on file? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so to uh, remember, we're going to do the auto pay and paperless billing. Okay, so by agreeing to sign up now, you're authorized and optimum to complete your enrollment, and you are agreeing to online pay terms and conditions that can be found on optimum.net forward slash auto terms. Just basically giving us the okay to deduct the amount due from the account. Okay. That's that's fine. Yes. Okay, so I took that payment. So this way, at least it puts your balance at zero. I took that one-time payment, and then you'll be on the auto pay after that. Okay, so I'm gonna just make my final notations on the account. You're all set for um, the first between eight and eleven for the forty-nine ninety-nine rate. Uh, let me uh, just adjust your billing with everything. Okay. I'll be right back with you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, while I'm applying this uh, to your account, I did want to let you know, too, that we offer Optima Mobile cell phone service. Have you ever been interested in cell phone service? Something no. else to consider? <clears throat> um, not from Optimum. <laughs> God, I, I'm not, I, can't, I can't get reliable internet. I'm not going to trust my cell phone to Optimum. Yeah, if you ever considered, I mean, mobile cell phone service here with Optimum is $14 per line starting rates with a one gig data plan. We use the same network as T-Mobile. We have a three gig, gig data plan for $22 per line. Then we also have an unlimited plan, which is $45 per line. So something else to consider if you're ever looking to save as far as uh, with that, okay? Mm-hmm, okay. Okay, so you are all set. We'll see you on Thursday, okay? All right. Anything else I got you with? No, that's it, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much for calling up and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See, they don't disconnect. They want to hear what you're saying. So just for shits and giggles, I am going to do a speed test with Verizon on my phone here. 7, 2, up, uh, down, down, and 2.34, up. And then I'm going to Close that out there. Let's go Wi-Fi. Let's go to my cable. Okay. Verizon. I just did Verizon. I got 272 down and 234 up. I'm in the middle of doing Optimum and I have their 300 megabit service. I don't have their 1 gig service. Verizon, I do have their 1 gig service and I'm pulling, say, 300. Optimum, I have their 300, and I'm pulling 42, 42 down, and 36 up. They're capped at 35 up, so that's all you're going to get on up to begin with, but 42 download speed. So there's your, your difference there, and there's our benchmark. Um, I'm having a little trouble with the speed test on my laptop. It needs a reboot, so I'll do a reboot on the laptop, and then I'm going to run a baseline speed test on the laptop. So now I got two baselines from the day I called, and then Thursday when they install this crap service, which I am probably most definitely going to can't oh, I should, probably most definitely <laughs> like that, which I, I am probably going to cancel on January 6th. So I don't owe anything, but they're going to give me they're going to give me two months free, and I'll try it. I'll, I'll keep a device on Optimum, I'll keep a device on Verizon, not costing me any money, so I might as well try it. But you notice what they do, Optimum, and this is their, their, their game. You call customer service, my internet is slow, well, we don't guarantee speeds. Well, my internet is slow, can you send somebody out here, we send somebody out here. It's the wiring in your house. No, it's not the wiring in my house, because Verizon is using the same wiring in my house, and I'm not having the problem. So, where's the problem? Well, we only guarantee the speed next, you know, at the modem, at the router or modem router whichever but that's where they guarantee the speed we don't guarantee the speed in the bedroom or in the kitchen okay well let's compare Verizon to Optimum in the kitchen where the computer is or in my home office where the computer is or you know the TV right here in the den which is where we use the internet not where we don't use the internet standing in a, in a, in a boiler room in the basement so rant off
We'll see. That's it today from Axel's Garage. This has been an attempt to disconnect. And now oh, that's, that's where I was getting at. You call customer service and they can't or won't help you at all. But you say disconnect and they send you to retention and all of a sudden retention wants to give you the world. I'm paying $120 a month for internet and now she's saying, oh, you should only be paying $49. We have a special $49. It just costs you $49 for, for, for our premium one gig internet, enhanced internet, whatever she was calling it. But I, you have to threaten to disconnect. That's not customer service. That's a shit company that you have to threaten to leave and say over and over and over again, I just want to disconnect and they're going to give you the world. Now it's two months free. It's, it went from, oh, we can give you a different package, to we can go to $49, which is less than half of what I was paying, to, you know what, here, two months free. Try it two months free. All to get you not to disconnect. That's a shit company. That's shit customer service. So an offer like that should be extended when you call up and you complain that your service isn't working right. They should bend over backwards for you then. Not when you say, I'm turning you off. That's it. What's your experience with Optimum, which is Cablevision, which is sort of Altice? I don't understand what it all, is, all the names are. Let me know in the box below. Let me know what you think of, of this crap company, your experience with this shit company. Let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.